Today uh, we're going to refill our black soldier fly larva bin. I have some uh, barley out in the field that the flies have laid eggs in and there is larva so today I'll be scooping that up and putting it in the bin. But uh, we made some modifications from last year because we had some problems. Uh, since it wasn't two-ended we had a bunch of larva piling up on this end. Kind of like our second prototype that we uh, showed you last year so instead of just tearing this one down I build a ramp on this one and we also raised the sides of the wall that they crawled because they were crawling up and through here and we've got it uh, screwed in pretty good so they won't get underneath it and uh, now that the peacock's done <laughs> we uh, drilled some good drain holes in here. Last year we had a lot of drainage just going out on the edge because apparently I didn't drill enough holes. So since I have drilled holes and the larva can fit through it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about three inches of uh, shavings down uh, just to discourage the larva from going down into that. They want uh, sugar so they, they generally climb out when they're ready. Uh, they don't climb down looking for food. So uh, We'll put the shavings in there and then the uh, next thing I'll do is I'll go get the larva. We collected uh, quite a bit of larva. We also found a barrel of old barley. It had lots of larva in it. So we've got uh, half of a tote here ready to go in. We've lined the bottom with the shavings. And we're just going to dump these guys in. In a couple days we'll take a look and see how, uh, how the larvae are doing. Well, it looks like I've gotten too much, so what I'll probably have to do here in the next day is uh, empty out the other bin and get it ready for this year. I do have to I have to modify the sides on that one, too. And i got to water this down because as much as I got in here, it's going to heat up. Your soldier fly larvae like it up to 105 degrees, but uh, they prefer it around 80 to 90. Let's uh, take a look here. So the larvae are there. So we'll uh, water this down and wait a couple days. So it's a couple of days later and we definitely have a successful transplantation here. As you can see, it's nice and smooth over the top and that's a sign of a lot of movement going on underneath. The barley kind of just moves itself right out and uh, so we'll go digging a little bit here. And we got plenty of larva working away, all sizes. See what we got over here. Hmm, not so much over here. This must be where all the good food is at.
We also started our other bin. Since we found some more out in the barrel of barley I had. Uh, not, probably not quite as much out here yet. But they're in there. There's a bunch. So it's been a few days later uh, after we started our uh, larva bins back up and uh, they're doing well. The weather has uh, gotten kind of miserable and cold but uh, we got the larva bins going good enough to where they are definitely going through this. I put this in this morning, piled it up on one side and you see they're just working away in there. Yeah, we found quite a few larvae, and uh, so we're ready to get this bin going. Uh, we've got it back on the website as far as larvae for sale. We've got the other bin going, and they seem to be all in one spot here. But they definitely are. A bunch of them. Um, See, so that's what it looked like this morning on the other side. And, they haven't gotten to it over here yet. They're just all right here. By tomorrow, they'll probably be halfway into this and and eating away. But with this cold weather, any flies that were hatched um, probably aren't going to be laying any more eggs because we're supposed to have rain for the next two weeks. Uh, so what we've got in the bins here is what we got till probably next month in June. And uh, then we'll get some more started. We've got lots of barley in the barrels uh, for feeding the stock, but uh, not, not the warm weather to get the flies out. So we'll see how it goes.